This is the most exciting, the best looking, the most expensive and the fastest road going Porsche ever made. It's called the Carrera GT. And I'm going to start by looking at it from a German's point of view. This is interesting. The crank is only 98.5 millimetres from the floor of the car. The reason why the crank is so low is because the clutch, which I have here, is so small. It's got two plates made from carbon fibre and uh, silicon carbide. Oof. Sorry, that, that happens sometimes when I say silicon carbide. Uh, anyway, let's see how much it, uh, it weighs. Pop it in the scales that we have here. And we've got some sugar. There's two bags, three bags, and four bags. Oh, look at that. Less than four bags of sugar. I'm speaking to you now from inside one of the Venturi tunnels. And what I have here is a cutaway of one of the, uh, one of the brakes. Also very light, because it's made from silicon car carbide. Oh, oh. At this point, a German would come out of the lavatory, say everything's perfect, and move on. But I'm not German. So let's look at it from a British point of view. Performance figures really are biblical. You get 612 brake horsepower, and that means 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. Flat out, you'll be doing 205. Even in the fastest, most exotic cars, there's a point where the power starts to lose its battle with the friction of the air. But in this, there's no let up at all. It's like it's moving in a vacuum. 120, 130, 140, 150. It just isn't going to stop. Not only is it one of the fastest and most exciting cars I've ever driven, it is also one of the most beautiful. It isn't styled with the verve or the passion of a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. It's, it's form following function, and every piece, every detail is as precise and as perfect as Germany's rail timetable. Really, there's only one car this can be compared with, the McLaren Mercedes SLR we tested two weeks ago. They both cost more than £300,000 and they both produce more than 600 brake horsepower. But there is a crucial difference. The Mercedes, that's a GT car. It's got a big boot, it's got thick carpet, it's got lots of luxury equipment. This, though, much more focused. Carbon fibre here, a magnesium transmission tunnel, a simple beechwood gear lever. This is a supercar unplugged. As a result, it's much lighter than the McLaren, and that makes it nimbler and edgier. And that makes it more of a handful. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need to be awake to drive this fast. 
It really isn't an easy car to control. The clutch is brutal, the power is savage, and the handling, you really are on a knife edge. But if you put in the effort, boy, oh boy, do you get the rewards. Normally, I like British and Italian cars because they have so much soul and character. German cars are always finder, long on engineering, but a bit short on passion. This, though, my God. It's that good, really. It is a phenomenon. Really? Uh, honestly, mind-blowingly good. So, I'm expecting it to beat the McLaren Mercedes, which is at the top of the board, of course, 120.9, because yeah. they've both got the same power, but the Porsche is 240 kilos lighter, which is a lot. Thing is, though, that McLaren Mercedes is easy to drive, automatic. You can go very, very fast, and it's not difficult. The Porsche... <laughs> well, put it this way, you know the Stig, right? Mighty car control. Oh, yes. He got into that Porsche. Right, here we go, and we've actually got a tape, which I think we can show you, of his first attempt. Where's that? Let's have a look. Here he comes, into the hammerhead, very close to the tyres, and... Honestly, it's a yeah. pig. It's, it's a monster. A, if the Mercedes forgives you that, make a mistake, it bites your head off. It's that simple. He had another go after that, spun it again and again and again. But then, after a whole morning's practising, he was ready to take on the Mercedes. <laughs> OK, this is the big one. Masses of wheel spin off the line, down to the first corner. He has got to tread carefully. He knows that that big V10 landmine <laughs> will bite. I'm surprised he's playing his power ballads today because really he has... Look at that through Chicago. He's gently on the power, doesn't want to lose it. He really doesn't want to lose it. Bit of a wiggle, he's OK, coming up to the hammerhead. This is where he spun it before. Cannot afford a mistake now. He's already off the SLR's pace at this point, but now... This is maximum attack mode. He's really opening the taps now, really, really working that manual gearbox, ringing out every millisecond advantage over the automatic McLaren. This is the second to last bend, hard on the ceramic brakes, keep it steady, he's measuring out the power. Gambon corner. Oh, he's pushing it now, and there he is! OK, the McLaren Mercedes did it 120.9. Yes. We know that. Go on. Which is pretty fast it's compared amazing. to all the others. Yes. Yes. And Porsche. Yes. Got it here. 119.9. Come 